All right, so today we are here for a low-stress, fear-free style vaccine appointment for a puppy. We have Kona. Kona is a 17 weeks old Cocker Spaniel and he's going to have his last set of vaccinations. He already had the rabies, so he's gonna have the distemper parvo lepto vaccine today. And we're going to do a physical exam and then do the whole vaccine, uh, take the weight. So we're gonna do the whole uh, fear-free way of doing a puppy vaccine appointment without ever traumatizing the puppy or teaching them that they have to be afraid of us when they come to the vet visit. So we're gonna start by offering the puppy a toy that is already, um, it's a new toy by the way, so that it's not contaminated, there's no viruses being transferred from puppy to puppy. We like to get a new toy and spray with some pheromone. Um, so it was pre-sprayed already before and we're gonna offer this um, as our gift today because we want the puppy to take this toy home actually and remember how much fun it is to come here. So this is gonna be a gift, Kona, look. It's for you. And they can play with that during the appointment as well. So we like to have toys available for the appointment, preferably toys that we can wash after um, because we don't want any contamination between dogs, right? So the only one that is a fabric toy is the one that Kona is gonna take home today. And we're gonna try to get the weight. And the way we do is we cover the scale, only leave the visor out so we can see what the weight is. And then we just put some treats on it and encourage the puppy to hop on it. If they don't see that this is actually a scale, you know, they tend to be okay and not ever be scared of it. Kona. And it's 9.1 kilograms today. So that's an easy way of getting their way without them ever realizing they are on that scary scale, right? Which normally is slippery or cold. So we avoid that by putting a blanket on it and just leaving the part where we have to actually check the weight out and then we can cover it. It was never a scary thing, was it? No, it was not. So now we're gonna start our exam, but we don't want Kona to figure out that that's actually what we're doing. So I'm escutating his heart right now while he's getting some treats. I don't want him to ever think that the stethoscope is something scary that he should be afraid of. So we try to not restrain them at all. Just do some cooperative care techniques here. And he doesn't even realize that that's what's going on. He doesn't know that this is a physical exam. He doesn't need to know that. We also don't have exam tables. For dogs, we do all our dog procedures and exams on the floor. And he sounds really good. He never even realized that the stethoscope was here. It's been here the entire time. There's food happening at the same time, so there's no reason to think that this is scary, right? And then the next thing that I'm gonna do is start palpating him. Do we still have treats? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm palpating already, but I want him to think that this is like a belly massage more than anything else, right? I don't want him tensing up. If I put him on a table, he's gonna be afraid of falling. Most dogs are, or in that cold metal. And then they start tensing up and get like a really hard belly. And I don't want that because then I cannot feel his organs inside. Now he's, he has a very relaxed belly. I can actually press all the way in and feel his organs. And he's not offering me any resistance. We can check the spine, we can check the legs, the patellas. And we don't have to necessarily start the exam from the head. We start where the dog is already ready for that and well positioned. So we can check lymph nodes here from the back. Lymph nodes all seem to be good. And then give the puppy a break. So we don't want to restrain and force them in that position as they start fighting us back and then that defeats the purpose, right, of being low stress, fear free. That's the point of doing it this way. So we give them a break, let them get distracted or play with something. So the whole appointment doesn't last more than 20, 30 minutes if we use this technique here. It doesn't take more time. Now that he's actually here and trying to eat my ring, that's a great distraction, right? This is when I'm gonna check his head, his eyes, but I want him to think that this is just part of a game that we're playing here, right? It's not actually a physical exam. And if I get a piece of food, oh, we have more food here. Kona, look what I got. 
Mm-hmm, yummy, yummy. So while he's getting actually a treat, I can look at his teeth and look at his mouth without forcing him, and he's just getting treats from me. Good job. Good job, puppy. Yay! None of this is scary, right? It's all good. It's happy day. Happy vaccine day. So we're going to prepare his vaccine now, but one thing that I want to point out, which is part of a fear-free procedure, if I can hand this to you, is we're going to draw the vaccine with this regular needle here that um, it already comes with the syringe, right? We'll mix, dilute the, the product. We're gonna draw it out of the actual vial and very important step is to actually remove this needle here. This needle is gonna go away and we're gonna use the smallest needle that we can possibly use. Um, it doesn't matter the size of the puppy or the breed of the dog, we're gonna use a 25, the smallest thing that we have available. Why is that? Because all of these pinches actually do hurt a little bit, so we want to minimize the size, you know, the, the amount of pain that we're going to cause, so we wanna use a small needle. If we use the same needle that we use to draw the product out, it's already kind of dull and it's gonna hurt more. Also, it doesn't matter if the dog is a, an adult pipo or a puppy, they all feel pain the same way. So we're going to use a small needle for the injection time, okay? Good. So one of the things that we like to use as a distraction for puppies is the licking mat. So what we do is we put a little bit of everything that puppies like. So there's a smear of spray cheese, there's some peanut butter and some baby food. And we're gonna just offer the puppy a buffet of options and see what he actually likes. And while he's actually licking all of this, that's when we're gonna do the injection. Hopefully he's not gonna even notice that that happened, all right? The other thing that we're gonna do that is very important before we give the injection is we're going to massage the area where the injection is gonna go, which in this case here, this vaccine, is gonna be on his left shoulder. So we're gonna just scratch that kind of really vigorously. We want that skin to desensitize to the poke. So if we do that beforehand and we activate those skin fibers, they are overfired already, he's not gonna feel that poke so much as you know, compared to just coming here, lifting his skin and poking him. That he would probably feel like a mosquito bite because it's a tiny needle, but we don't want him to feel actually, to realize any, feel any pain or think that any of this is bad for him, right? So I'm scratching his shoulder here and now he's gonna get that lick mat. So let's make sure that he is busy with that. Very good. We're gonna lift the skin, pinch, inject, and gone. And he got his vaccine. He did not even move or flinch. I don't think he actually realized that a vaccine was given. We can massage that area a little bit. Normally we don't really have to, but just kind of keep massaging it. And he was way too busy enjoying that food he didn't realize that the poke happened. So this is what we want every puppy appointment or every vaccine appointment actually to be. And if we start this early when they are puppies, they never learn to fear the vet visit, right? They never feel pain or fear in this room. They associate being here with wonderful things. There's lots of new toys. There's a toy we're gonna take home. There's yummy food that doesn't happen all the time. They don't get this kind of food at home, right? So these are high value treats. And there's a lot of play opportunities. So if we put them into play mode and we motivate like, or we stimulate those happy hormones in the brain, he's gonna be too happy to actually feel pain or feel fear, right? It's much easier to do it this way, uh, starting them early as puppies so that they grow up learning how to enjoy, learning to enjoy and love the vet visit and make this positive connection with us. The only thing we didn't do today as part of the exam is to take the puppy's temperature. Normally, when the client reports to us that they're doing well at home, they're not acting sick, no vomiting, no diarrhea, they're eating well, and then here they take over our food and play with us, 
Um, we don't necessarily need to take the temperature. That's the, one of the most stressful parts of the physical exam is actually putting them on a table and taking the temperature. Those are the two parts that terrify them the most. So if we see a happy, healthy puppy in front of us, there is no need to take that temperature. Uh, we will take it if they are acting sick or having any symptoms of disease. Otherwise, it's part of the fear-free uh, program to not take temperatures of healthy dogs. Uh, if we do have to do that, then we can work on desensitizing them to that and use a lot of food, a lot of positive things before we insert that thermometer. But we actually have a way to desensitize them to taking temperatures so that the owner can do it at home and tell us what the real temperature of the dog is when they come to see us at the hospital. And if you want to learn how to do that, you can visit our website and there is a link there to a video on how to desensitize them to temperature taking as well as other procedures like nail trim, how to do um, an exam of the head, how to do the chin rest. So we have a lot of um, videos that you can learn how to do these things at home. And when they come to see us, then it's not something foreign or scary for them. It's just something that we, it's just a game that we play at home and it's fun to do that here with us as well. If you are interested in our puppy packages for behavior, you can give us a call, contact our hospital. Uh, we have uh, different kinds of packages for puppies that will include also a normal package. We'll include some education on puppy training, potty training, uh, so preven prevention of behavior problems that will be included as well. And we also do some basic uh, clicker training with them. So it's a lot of fun. If you are interested, don't hesitate to call our hospital and schedule an appointment with Behavior Service.